Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is connect a Juniper Geode GNS3 to a Windows 11 device via Bluetooth. This would go the same for Windows 11. So first off, I'm gonna to go to my Bluetooth settings by tabbing my Windows key and typing in the word Bluetooth. Once I hit enter on Bluetooth settings, I can choose to add the Bluetooth device and pick my geode. Now, of course, you will have to have the geode turned on for 15 to 20 seconds before you'll see the Bluetooth show up. I happen to have already paired mine here. You can see it says paired. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Geode Connect for Windows. This is version 2.33. There it is in my Windows Start menu. I'm gonna launch Geode Connect. Okay, here now we're connected. We see a lat long. We know we're getting positions. Let's take a look at the settings here. So if we hit the cog on the bottom right, we can see that we're tracking GPS and multi-GNSS which is what we want. We want both checked. And I recommend using all NMEA sentences. If you hit description here, you can actually see specifically what they mean, which is very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here and I'm gonna make sure that I'm at one hertz. I'm gonna go to advanced. I see my NMEA precision, meaning decimal places beyond the lat long is eight. It's more than sufficient. And my correction source here, if I want to use something other than SBAS, perhaps Atlas or NTRIP, I can set that here. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this alone and use SBAS. And of course, in North America, we use WAS, so that's why that is specified. The receiver mode, I would not recommend changing these two options. Those should be checked and nothing else should be checked. Optionally, you can make the battery sentence, report the battery life. I like to do it every 30 seconds. I can go ahead and hit save and this will send the saved message to the receiver. Let's scroll to the top so we can hit the back button and go check out some other settings. Okay, so let's take a look here at some of the other options. If we go into manage subscriptions, this is where we could apply an Atlas subscription if we happen to have purchased one. We put in the code and we would go ahead and save. I'm gonna go ahead and hit back here. We're gonna look at the NTRIP configuration. So if we're gonna use VRS, or single base VRS. We could put in the caster address, the port, username and password, send the GGA string to the caster, download the mount points, choose the mount point, and then start end trip. Uh, for instance, this is what some of the mount points look like within our RTK net. If I hit back here to my main window, you see I'm still connected with some coordinates, about 1.6 feet with SBAS. If I wanted to look at the sky plot, I could click it here in the bottom, see the different constellations and satellite numbers and my satellite geometry. If I go to the map, it actually shows a little map here. And through Geode Connect, we could actually collect a waypoint, clear waypoints, export waypoints, or view existing save files. And of course, we could zoom in and out here. Lastly, at the bottom right, we have the terminal. This allows us to see the NMEA raw data coming out. We could choose to pause that if we needed to see some information about the NMEA sentence. We could also turn on the timestamp. And you can actually capture raw data here. You can log at one hertz or however many hertz you have your receiver configured for, and you could do an extended log file here. I'm gonna go ahead and back out to the home screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the three lines in the top left, and I wanna look at a couple other things. So first, we're gonna look at preferences. We can see our units here set. I'm gonna hit back. I'm gonna hit the three lines again. If we go to connect device, that's obvious. That's for pairing a new piece of equipment. We've already looked at receiver configuration, which is the cog on the bottom right. The upgrade geode is essentially the same as the subscription options that we looked at that allow you to apply things like Atlas corrections. OS location is interesting. This will allow us to turn on Windows location reporting. Currently, I don't use this. If you want to, this can be turned on. We'll go ahead and hit back. And we'll hit the three lines again. And we're gonna look at the virtual ports. And this is pretty important if you're looking to consume the geode Bluetooth positional data through another application. So for instance, I have mine turned on and I'm pointing to COM7, which is my virtual port. If I needed to add one, I could add it here, and I can also turn this off if I'd like. For now, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna hit back. We hit the three lines again and go to help feedback. And here you'll see it launch an email. 
automatically will send this to support at junipersys.com with the receiver configuration and all the settings that you have set up to Juniper for support purposes. Let's close this. I'm gonna hit okay here. And lastly, I'm gonna hit the three lines and go to about. This is where we can see the version that we are running. Thanks again for joining us for another Altera Central technical video. Until next time.